Well, it is official. The World Health Organization just ruled the coronavirus is a global pandemic. There are now more than 1,000 cases of the coronavirus after more than 250 people tested positive yesterday alone. Mm. Among those that tested positive were three TSA workers at the San Jose International Airport in California. Meantime, White House Coronavirus Task Mem Force member Dr. Fauci, who I'm starting to fall in love with. I lo he makes me feel very calm. His accent you know I mean? is my favorite. He's like, let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. He told Americans that this is an all hands on deck situation and that we should all start taking preventative measures and changing behaviors like not shaking hands, limiting contact, and avoiding large crowds. The list of shows canceling studio audiences continues to grow. And now that includes Good Morning America or GMA, The View. Live with Kelly and Ryan, live with who? Dr. Phil and Wendy <laughs> Williams, and more. Stars are also taking things to another level, like Howie Great. Mandel, Exhibit A, <laughs> who's a known germaphobe, if you don't know, who showed up to a, a AGT taping in this hazmat suit and gas mask. He Even, said he was a contestant on AGT. He does. Even model Naomi Campbell is upping her travel precautions, still looking chic. Yes. While wearing this white hazmat suit, purple gloves, and mask by Dolce. Lindsay's going to have that on by the end of the day. I definitely would get that. But I did see a funny headline that said, Millennials to coronavirus. Whatever. Because so many millennials booked travel yesterday and the day before. And oh. just people are like seeing Spirit Airlines flights for 50 bucks. Brandon probably booked two or three. I think Spirit. Albert might have done <laughs> I think Al might be a millennial. You what happened Spirit to the meeting? Flight? I ain't booked Spirit. No. What was the headline that Spirit Airlines, like, to, oh, okay. let's say Punta Cana, was like 130 yeah. round trip? That's yeah. a, a elaborate trip for somebody who's really young right out of college. So yeah, what did you, you do in the meeting? Well, I, I, booked, uh, I booked a flight to uh, be performing at the Ritz Theater in Toledo, Ohio at the end of uh, at the end of this month, so I'll be in Toledo. Got a flight to Detroit, which is right there, for uh, 75 bucks round trip. Wow. So these are prices that we haven't that. seen in years. And They're crazy. I was going to say you're about to go to Europe. I went to Europe when SARS was happening. Ooh. I went on Sing Singapore <laughs> Airlines for 250 bucks round trip. So do it. I hope Na whatever Naomi Campbell was wearing, I hope they have it in a double XL because that's that's what I'm gonna have on. But you're you're not really worried like going into these comedy clubs? Not at all. Not at all. Look at I'm that worried about bombing. <laughs> But you know, changing behavior is different. So we do. We were am amping it up a little bit. Again, just the facts. No panic. There we I keep go. Getting the you last word. Every time. Well, she didn't really yeah, remember. Didn't so it. she was like thinking of every word that came out. I didn't sell it at all. <laughs>